Guys, welcome back to another episode of The Money Codes. Guys, do me a favor before I jump into today's topic. Make sure to go down, like, subscribe, and comment. If you didn't already know, YouTube basically put me on a YouTube timeout, which affected my channel and how I was able to create content for you guys. That way I can remind YouTube that the content I'm producing is valuable and you guys want to see more of it. So without wasting any time, you can see on the screen here, I got Mint is shutting down and it's pushing users towards Credit Karma. Guys, if you haven't used Mint, I touched on this app, I think about a couple years ago. This was actually a very useful app that you can download over to your phone and it would offer a great deal of transparency into your spending habits. So if you wanted to figure out how much you were spending on subscription services that you completely forgot about, it will basically tell you. It will give you a summary of your spending habits. It will give you a whole bunch of tools on basically how to become a better budgeter of your money, right? It was a very solid app and I used it for quite a bit of time and then I kind of forgot about it. It was on my phone and I just never used it, right? And it seems like a lot of people kind of did the same thing. So to make a long story short, what's gonna happen is January, 2024, Intuit, which is the parent company of both Mint as well as Credit Karma, Intuit is basically going to discontinue Mint starting January of 2024 and all of the users, they're basically trying to nudge over to Credit Karma. Now, at the time of this recording, I don't know if Credit Karma is going to have all of the functionality and all of the tools that was native inside of the Mint app. I don't think that's going to be the case starting off day one, but I do think and I kind of get a vision of what Credit Karma is trying to do. If you've been paying attention to Intuit, specifically Credit Karma, They've been very aggressive in their marketing, trying to get more users to adopt Credit Karma as their financial platform. Credit Karma is typically known for giving you guys your Vantage scores, giving you tools to determine which credit card product or which credit personal loan is best for you. And wink, wink, nudge, nudge every time you go to Credit Karma and you apply for any of these type of credit products, they get paid off of it. So it makes a lot of sense why Intuit will try to bring the 2.6 million plus people that are using the Mint app over to Credit Karma because even though there were 2.6 million people using the Mint app, it doesn't seem like Mint actually hit their financial goals that they were trying to hit. And many people commented that Mint was kind of one of the acquisitions that Intuit acquired and they really didn't do much with. That's kind of the feedback that a lot of people are giving that, you know what, Mint has kind of been left on the back burner a little bit. So again, it just makes a lot of sense why Credit Karma wants to absorb all those 2.6 plus million people because now all those 2.6 million people are now going to be inside of the ecosystem of Credit Karma, which means there's going to be more people applying for credit cards, applying for loans, applying for the checking account, and applying for all the products and services that you already know Credit Karma is going to start offering to their customers, right? It could be a good thing or a bad thing, but we really just have to wait and see how this transition is going to go. If you are a Mint user, you're going to have to get accustomed to Credit Karma's services, or you're going to have to look at other products. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of suggestions if you're looking for a very solid budgeting tool. So alternative number one is monarchmoney.com. This is an alternative that I think needs to be on your radar if you're looking for a modern and simple way to manage your budget. Now, FYI, I'm not an affiliate of Monarch Money or any of the products that I'm talking about right now. This is just something for you to keep on your radar if you're looking for an alternative definitely check these guys out. Number two, and I like the UI on this one, is copilot.money, right? The best money tracker app. And I love the UI on this, now available for Mac and iPhone. And you can see, this is what these type of apps tend to do. You sync your credit card and banking information with these type of apps, and they really give you a lot of data to make sure that you understand where your money is going, right? So if you're at the end of the month and you're just scratching your head, where's my money going? What am I spending my money on? These type of apps can do so much for your mental health. We're just keeping track of how you're spending your money, right? So that's number two, copilot.money. The last one I want you guys to check out is ynab.com. This is another app that you can use if you were a fan of Mint and you're not wanting to jump over to the Credit Karma ecosystem. This is something I want you guys to check out as well, right? So that's basically it. This is the update for today. Mint, the budgeting tracking app is no longer going to be used starting January 2024. It's going to be rolled into the Credit Karma ecosystem. As this transition rolls out in January, I'll give you guys more updates and probably do a screen recording of just what's inside the Credit Karma app. Uh, matter of fact, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see Credit Karma actually released a feature. And if I can find it, I'll share it with you guys. Yeah, so Credit Karma added one of Mint's key features, the ability for users to track their net worth, 
Intuit says Mint users can transfer their accounts by logging into Credit Karma from Mint. From then on, Intuit says users will no longer be able to access their Mint profiles. Users can download and delete their Mint data if they don't want to move over to Credit Karma. You're going to be able to export your data and bring them over to the apps that I just showed you. Again, Monarch Money, Copilot, and YNAB. These are three solid alternatives if you are looking for an alternative to Mint as well as Credit Karma. Check these guys out and let me know your thoughts. If you are a user of the Mint app, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're excited about this or like many of the comments I'm seeing, you're a little bit hesitant of this acquisition. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'm gonna check you guys out in the next video. All right, peace. Thank you.